my name is Sophie Maddens. I'm also new to the IGF. I'm new to ISOC. I joined two months ago, heading the Global Services Department, working with our regional bureau directors, of which we have a number here. Paul Brigner, who's our, uh, the head of our North American Bureau, um, Frédéric Donk, who's the head of our European Bureau, and Sebastian Belagamba, who's the head of our Latin American and Caribbean Bureau. Uh, we, uh, when I listened to Marcus, when I listened to Constance, I listened, I caught a number of key words, and the key words are really transparency, collaboration, bottoms up, local. And like the IGF, ISOC also be true be truly believes in uh, regionalization. We're global yet local. We believe in listening to uh, the local participation, the local voices through our chapters, through our members, and obviously through our regional bureaus. We've invested significantly in those regional bureaus, and we continue to invest significantly in regionalization so that the lo local voices can and are heard. And our bureau team is a team of various nationalities. I myself, am a, I'm Belgian, but I'm based in Reston. So we, are, we, we really do believe in the local voices, the regional voices being brought into the ISOC global message and dovetailing the ISOC global message to what exists on the ground locally. If we look at the mission of regionalization through our regional bureaus, it's really to drive the ISOC global mission. And Ted will talk as well about the chapters as well, and the members in the organizations, the individual members and in the organizations. But really, through our bureaus, we look uh, to drive it, to promote the continued evolution and growth of the internet. Again, messages that we hear here at the IGF, the, the open internet, the internet through everybody, uh, for everyone. And again, the internet for everyone through dialogue with stakeholders, stakeholders that exist at the regional level, at the local level, at the global level. So we want to provide the regional context, the structure and the expertise for the ISOC mission and the initiatives at the global level. So our regional bureaus actively engage in local, regional and other key institutions, or they actively engage these institutions, the companies, the governments, the academia, the civil society, the other stakeholders. So again, like the IGF, when we look at the, the variety of stakeholders that are here, when we look at the list of participants, that are, all, are also the variety of stakeholders that are bureaus that we are, as global services work with. And we have the increasingly active communities of the chapters and the men, uh, members of what, as well. Because I want to make an, a, a point of this as I stand here before you, I, I, we want to address this fact that we collaborate, we listen to the local voices and regions, and we listen to the local voices around the world. We recognize that there are linkages amongst the regions, there are linkages, there are global priorities that we have in our priorities as ISOC that, and, and that we have in our business plan and our strategy. But as I said before, we try to dovetail from what we hear from the le uh, local voices to uh, the difference, uh, differences between the regions and to adapt them to the specific needs of the reasons of the regions. So we look at the presence and expertise of our regional bureaus to dovetail that. The key elements, again, Mark, is what I picked up from your particular uh, uh, um, words and also Constance and Neil, is the multi-stakeholder approach. The multi-stakeholder approach is essential to the Internet Governance Forum and it's essential to the way we work as well. The local engagement and relevance is essential to the IGF and it's essential to the way we work as well. I look at my colleagues around the room and I, and I see heads nodding because ex that's exactly what we do. We look at the local relevance in our development projects, in our policy projects, in, uh, in our technical projects, in some of the, uh, the capacity building and workshops that we do organize. So we look at that local engagement and relevance and we have the regional input in the global positions. So our bureaus help us to provide timely and locally relevant programmatic content consistent with ISOG's global message. 
we ensure timely messaging and the ability to respond to the queries to the field, and we really try and look at this in a holistic way to see how we can best promote ISOC and its mission, how we also have our global branding, and how we also understand the regional needs and the regional requirements. Some of the key priorities for 2013, and again we'll see dovetailing with what we're hearing this week at the IGF, we invest in interconnection and tra traffic exchange projects, capacity building on the establishment of IXPs in Latin America, in Africa, in Asia Pacific, in uh, uh, other regions of the world. We look at internet governance, we look at access policy, we look at mobility, we look at privacy issues, we look at technical capacity building, we look at infrastructure, we look at cybersecurity. These are all issues that we deal with at policy, at technical level, at capacity building level, and in which our regional bureaus are key. So look at their faces because if you want to talk to any of us, we have a booth that's right by the entrance. We will be staffing the booth this week and we would be very happy to talk to you. If uh, I had made a, a slide here, which is the very last slide in my presentation, in which I have a house, the house that ISOG built, the house that is about engagement, about dialogue, the house that fits very well into the multi-stakeholder, the IGF approach, that engagement and dialogue. And in that engagement and dialogue, we have our key program investment areas. We have our cross-organizational support to the ISOC, to the operational activities that are of relevance to our members, our chapters, our bureaus. As I say, the arrows going back, it's not just the arrow towards the stakeholders, it's also the arrows from the stakeholders, the input into our long-term vision, into our priorities, into our uh, strategy and business planning. So that is where you all fit in. As our members, you fit in to help us feed back the input, and you are the stakeholders that we address. Ted will talk about uh, the chapters and the members, but I just wanted to set this out for you as well. And thank you, Marcus, for the opportunity.